those of you that don't like to read, I am Dan, the self-proclaimed lonely rocker. Thank you for joining me today. So if we look at the ME90 as an all-in-one, it's easy to pick it apart and criticize and identify things that it doesn't have. But the truth is, it's an affordable platform that's modular because it has an effects loop, which means we can insert all sorts of things into the effects loop. Last I checked, guitar players rarely use one device for their entire signal chain. So we're going to put cost out of the equation here because most of us guitar players are requiring things as we feel we need it. Now, one thing that I do feel the ME90 is lacking that is integral to shaping amp models and make them sound right is a parametric EQ. Now the GX100 has one, the ME90 doesn't, but not to fear. As I said, we have an effects loop, which means we can insert an EQ into the loop. So today I wanna to take a look at the Para EQ Mark II Deluxe from Empress, which I feel is one of the best parametric EQ pedals out there. This thing is gonna help us shape our amp models and make them sound the way I think they should. And also, uh, if you've been following along recently, we can set up the ME90 uh, with the four cable method with a real amplifier. And a number of you asked me, can we incorporate other pedals within the four cable method setup, specifically an EQ? Well, guess what? We can do that, and I'm gonna show you that as well. So let's get rolling. To hook up an EQ pedal like this Para EQ MK2 Deluxe from Empress FX, you connect the send from the ME90 to the input of the EQ. Then take the output of the EQ and connect it to the return on the ME90. In Boss Tone Studio, click on System, Send Return Settings, and set the location to Post. This places the Send Return block after the preamp, which puts the pair EQ after the preamp block, so we can tweak it with the EQ pedal. So in real time and really without much effort at all, I was able to dial out that fizziness from that ME90 amp model of a rectifier. I was able to clean up the mightiness in the bottom end and just bring some overall clarity to the tone. Uh, we'll check that again a little bit later uh, in a mix. There's an important distinction between a parametric EQ like this and something like the MXR 10 band EQ. The frequencies and curves on the 10 band EQ are predefined. This is a great general purpose EQ pedal with 10 controllable frequencies, but since the values are fixed, you can't get very surgical and tackle specific issues. For guitar, being surgical is really important, because especially if we're trying to locate specific harsh frequencies that we can find in amp models and real amps as well, or if there's a particular part of our tone that we want to beef up. Now, those values can wildly fluctuate depending on the type of guitar, pickups, and amp combination that we're using. The Para EQ MK2 Deluxe only has three bands, but each of the bands are highly customizable. Not only can you dial into very specific frequencies, you can also change the Q or the width of the curve you're adjusting. That harshness you often hear in amp models will be found in the higher frequencies, so you can sweep around, locate the harshness, and dial it down, and then narrow the Q to make the cut as specific as you want while preserving neighboring frequencies. All right, so now I want to show you how the Para EQ can really help you in a recording and mix situation. We're going to revisit that rectifier tone that I showed you before, but this time I've double tracked it, panned it left and right, and then uh, another model on the ME90, a tweed combo. But then I'm going to blend all four of those guitars together and put it into a mix so we can see how the Para EQ pedal really helps sculpt those tones and help them slide nicely into a mix.
So I get it, an EQ pedal is probably not the sexiest pedal in the world and probably not at the top of your list of pedals that you're looking to acquire. But for my money, having a great parametric EQ, much like the Para EQ here, is a great tool to have. Number one, it's gonna expand the sonic palette of your device, whether it's a modeler or a real amplifier. And it's a great way to address issues and just get tones, especially in a recording situation, to get them to slide nicely into a mix uh, with minimal processing after the fact. It just makes mixing your tracks that much easier and ensure that you get some great tones. So as far as parametric EQ pedals go, uh, the Para EQ Mark II Deluxe is an exceptional pedal. I mean, from sweepable frequencies to adjustable cue controls. Plus, I didn't even talk about these four dials right here. You can adjust the cutoff values of the low and high pass filters, as well as gain and attenuation on the low and high shelf filters. Plus, I didn't even talk about the boost side of this pedal. Uh, if you can put this in front of your amplifier and utilizing the boost and the EQs, you can boost your amp in creative ways and get all kinds of great results. So whether I'm using this with an amp modeler or an actual real amplifier, I've had nothing but positive results uh, with the Perry EQ Mark II. So another great way to utilize the ME90 is with the four cable method and a real amplifier. Now I did a whole video about that. I'll link that somewhere up here or definitely in the description, but that allows us to use the effects in the ME90 and a real amplifier. But a number of you have asked me if we can incorporate pedals within that four cable method, specifically an EQ pedal, and we absolutely can. That means we can place overdrives and boosts before the amp and things like delays and reverbs after the preamp of our tube amp. So now let's take a listen to a great crunch tone coming out of my angled Powerball 2. And then thanks to the four cable method and the ME90, I can place a boost before the preamp in the real amplifier, a reverb after the preamp and utilize the para EQ to shape the tone just enough to help that tone sit nicely in the mix. Again, if you want to check out that four cable method video, I will put a link in the description to that. Also, I'm building up a library of setup PDF files. Those are available on my Patreon. So I'll also put a link in the description if you want to grab those. And while you're at it, uh, hitting the like button and subscribing to this channel uh, really helps me out and I appreciate that. With the standard four cable method, you connect your guitar to the input of the ME90. The left mono output on the ME90 connects to the return in your amp's effects loop. The send on the ME90 connects to your amp's input and the return connects to your amp send. Now we want to place the para EQ after the amplifier on its way back to the ME90. To do that, we simply insert the EQ in between the send of the amp and the return of the ME90. Make sure to turn off the preamp block on the ME90. You can do that on the pedal or in Boss Tone Studio. The send return block contains your physical amp with the para EQ after it, and you can see the ME90 effects that appear before and after the amp. All right, so what I'm gonna demonstrate now is a guitar solo with a couple harmony parts. I'm gonna track it with the same settings on the amplifier, but I'll use the para EQ to create some variances with the different parts to get them sitting nicely together. I think this is another great example of how the Para EQ just gives you next level tweakability to help you give your tones exactly what they need for your mix. This all really just scratches the surface on what this combination can do. I mean, the ME90 is a really affordable and versatile amp modeling and multi-effects platform. Yes, it's missing that parametric EQ, but come on, as guitar players, we're always looking to accentuate our signal chains and add different things to help us get those tones that we seek. And the Para EQ Mark II from Empress is an exceptional parametric EQ. This is a killer combination. I mean, we can take what the ME90 has to offer and we can carve out those issues and really make those tones our own. And for me, you know, in the modeling generation or call it the preset mentality where we just push a button, 
I like the fact that I can customize those tones while utilizing something as easy and versatile as the MU90. So really, really cool combination. If you are interested in either of these products, I do have affiliate links in the description as this is not a sponsored video. Uh, any purchases there it doesn't cost you anything, but it will kick a little bit back to my studio and help me make more content just like this. And I really appreciate that. If you have any questions at all, any thoughts, that's what the comment section is for. But if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end, I'd love to know who you are. Perhaps you can let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And the description is full of all sorts of ways to support the channel. Affiliate links on my Patreon, and I've got merch. And I look forward to seeing you again in another video.